Welcome everyone. If you're new here, I'm Kim with Stones Hill Homestead and today we are making some hash brown potato soup for souping with friends. This collaboration is hosted by Jessica at Modern Homestead Alaska and Flat Tire Farm Homestead Alaska and we want to thank them for this collaboration and enjoying the November soups with souping with friends. So I'm starting off here with a box of hash brown potatoes. We need to rehydrate these as they're dehydrated and I purchased this box at Sam's Club. It comes in a package of eight and it's perfect for a small batch of soup or a small omelet or a small um, hash browns for just a couple people. And it's nice because my husband does not like potato soup. So whenever I make potato soup, I'd need to make a small batch so that it doesn't last all week long. I just like to have it a couple days and then I'm good. So we're starting off with hydrating those potatoes, which I have just done by pouring boiling water over them and they need to steep for about 12 minutes. The next thing I am going to be adding to this stock pot is onions. It is a half a medium onion that is diced and we need to cook these down. So I'm going to be adding about three tablespoons of butter to this and we're going to get that melted down and saute them till they're soft. We just want to get them so that they're not crunchy. Once that is completely done and those are nice and tender and sauteed, we will add those rehydrated hash browns to the stock pot. The other couple ingredients that we also need to add to this is a half a can of cream of chicken soup and one can of chicken broth. I wasn't real sure what to do with the rest of that can of chicken soup, so I end up just adding the full can. And for this soup, it will not be a problem at all as it's just going to make it a nice, um, creamier, a little bit thicker soup. It'll be um, quite good for, for that. I also do not have a can of chicken broth. I have my own bone broth that I have canned, but I only have quart sized jars left. And so today I have chosen to add some chicken base. And chicken base is, I believe um, many of you might use better than bouillon. That, that is an option to make up your chicken broth. It works just fine for this recipe and um, you can also again just add your can of chicken broth if you have it on your pantry shelf. I don't normally buy chicken broth since I usually make my own but today I just wanted a small batch. So here you see me adding that can of cream of chicken soup and getting that all scraped out here and then I will be adding those rehydrated potatoes now. And I'm just gonna dump that box into the stock pot. And these are just a really nice to have around. It's just easy to make this and you don't have to um, keep it on your, in your freezer. They're nice shelf stable hash brown potatoes. And I'm gonna mix this up. Now these, hash browns need to cook down and cook until they are tender. And it takes, for frozen ones, it looks about 20 minutes or so, 15 to 20 minutes. But because these are dehydrated, we've rehydrated them, it doesn't take them long at all to finish cooking. So here you see me adding 14 ounces of water which would be the same amount that you would find in a can of chicken broth. So I add my 14 ounces of water and then I'm going to add my chicken base. 
to this and you'll see me adding that right here and that is a powdery base and I'm going to mix that up and I want to bring everything up to temperature here. I want to get everything nice and cooked. Now the potatoes by this time are cooked so I just want to get that water, that soup, all of that um, just nice and heated through and make sure that everything is blended well and um, quite nice together. And now that everything is heated and mixed thoroughly together, we need to add the next ingredients. We are going to be adding a half a cup of sour cream and three quarters of a cup of shredded cheddar cheese. I have a combination um, Colby Jack cheese here, Monterey Jack and cheddar. Any is fine. Um, cheddar is a nice is a nice cheese, but we ended up having this cheddar Monterey Jack cheese that's shredded. So we're just going to be using that. The sour cream, we're going to mix that up. Now it calls for some salt. I have decided not to use any salt in this recipe because the cream of chicken soup and that chicken base has sodium in it. I see no reason to add any more. I am, however, adding about a half a teaspoon of pepper, and I'm just going to continue to mix until all this cheese is melted nicely and sour cream are all mixed together, and then we will get this plated up. And it looks really nice. It smells delicious here. And I just want to make sure that I'm continuing to stir it. We don't want that to stick to the bottom as it can, it can happen very quickly. Um, you can scorch it, which, so just keep a close eye on it at this point once you add that shredded cheese and sour cream. I've also made a loaf of bread that I'll be serving with this. I'm going to taste this real quick just to make sure that it doesn't need any other um, seasons with it. And it is really good. There definitely does not need to add any salt to this at all. And this is, like I said, this is just a small batch. It's going to be about four servings. And that will be enough for me tonight, plus I'll have one for tomorrow, and then I'll be able to put two in the freezer for work next week. So it's quite a delicious recipe. And now here I am going to bowl this up. And you can see I've got my bowl sitting in a bowl cozy. It makes it so nice so your hands don't get too warm when you're holding your bowl. To the left is the loaf of bread I made today. And at this point, you could add shredded cheese, more sour cream if you want, but we're just going to have this hash brown potato soup with some bread. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining us for souping with friends. And this is quite a nice, cozy, warm soup on a beautiful fall day. And I'm going to taste it now and just make sure everything is seasoned nicely, which it is. Thanks again for joining. And as always, be blessed and laugh as much as you breathe. Have a great day, everyone.